Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here that you have an equation that models the height of a cable when it's suspended between two utility poles. So I imagine you've got like a pole here in the ground, and then you've got another pole here, and you've got this cable that kind of hangs down. How high is the cable? Well, they're saying that this equation shows us that if you go to the lowest point, let's say this is the lowest point here, it'll always be right in the middle, right? Lowest point, at least I think. I don't think there's any way to change that. And we're saying that point is A. And then X uh, is the horizontal distance, right, from that point, the lowest point. That tells you the height, right, of the cable. So if I said, how high is this right here? Let's say this, we call this, this point has a height of h of x. Well, it depends how far you're from the lowest point. How far over are you going? Well, this equation models that. And this looks like it has a lot to do with trigonometry. You can imagine that and other things. So we get two things to think about. And the first one, it says, if the lowest point of the cable is 10 feet. So actually, let me write that up there. They're saying the lowest uh, point is 10 feet. So a is 10. 10 feet above the ground, I suppose. Um, and the height of the cable at a 10 foot horizontal distance from the origin. So the lowest point is at the origin and X is the horizontal distance from that, it's 10 feet. We plug these numbers in and we can work with it. So we find H of 10, which is equal to A over two or five times e to the power of 10 over 10, right? Uh, that's x over a, 10 over 10, which is 1, plus e to the negative x over a, which is negative 10 over 10. And that's our equation, right? That's what we're working with. Then in the other one, it says the lowest point is 35 feet. So a is 35 feet, the height of the cable 25 feet to the left would be, so x is 25. So we're looking for h of x, and x is 25. So that's 35 divided by 2, 17.5, times e to the power of 25 over 35, plus e to the negative 25 over 35. And we're just essentially now that we've gotten past the task of figuring out what this equation is describing, we can plug these numbers in. So let's do that. All right. So let's get here. So I'll, get, I'll bring the screen down so you can see it. I think one more. There we go. So we do 5 times e to the power of 1, or just e, right? and plus e to the power of negative one. So about 15.431 feet, okay? And then the other scenario we have 17.5 times uh, e to the 25 over 35 plus, oops, plus e to the power of negative 25 over 35. Boom. We get about 44.315. So 15.431 and 44.315. And that tells us the height, that distance from the center. All right, hope that helped.